Hey guys, Gravy Seal here. We're out at Brazos River Sportsman's Club. Uh, just did a video on my 34 with the Johnny Glock competition trigger. Um, this is my buddy's 48. It has the Johnny Glock combat trigger. So he has the exact same setup for the most part, uh, except this is the three and a half pound and that other one is a two and a half pound. Um, he does have the PMM barrel with compensator combo, uh, the recover tactical rail that you can buy if you didn't get the MOS one, it has a Vickers uh, extended slide release, um, and then just got the Rival Arms mag release and mag flare. Um, these are the night fishing AccuDot sights. So if you look thunder, the tritium is actually on the bottom of the notch. So in the dark, it has a line and you just line up the line and the dot on top um so it's a little bit heavier of a trigger pull but not by much man you can't even really can't really tell much of a difference um here's the brake that's wall there's wall brake reset again super minimal right at the wall again brake right back at the wall and brake so the way that he designed these triggers was that instead of having a lot of that over travel coming back and the over travel going back out to reset. Um, when you reset this trigger, it, it's literally reset right back to the wall to break again. So these are amazing triggers. Like I said, he's got great customer service. Um, he's a super cool guy, man knows a lot, a lot about Glocks. Probably knows more about Glock than Glock does, but you know, that's, that's just an opinion that I have, but uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot a couple mags through this just so you guys can see what a good bit of difference this PMM compensator does, as well as the Johnny Glock combat trigger. So you can kind of get an idea of the difference between the competition and the combat. Even though I had some malfunctions um, with, uh, you know, the competition trigger on that on that Gucci Glock. I don't even think it's the trigger to be honest. It's just, like I said, you know, those tolerances when you start adding two Glocks and, and changing them up and making them non-stock, they, um, they tend to just run into some issues. You gotta work out the kinks, but we'll get there. So we're gonna do a mag of steel case and a mag of some Remington brass UMC. So just so you guys can get an idea of how the Johnny Glock trigger itself cycles and runs um, very smooth. So again, I'll just do a, a nice cadence, boom, boom, boom. And then uh, this second mag, uh, and I'll just do a cadence and then run it through so that you guys can see. So yeah, they do take a little bit of getting used to because, you know, even on that one, I kind of sputtered a little bit. I'm used to that Glock, that long over travel back to reset. This one is, you can't, you know, trigger slap it too much. You got to be right on top of it because the the reset to the brake is there's no, there's no play in there. Once it resets, you're already back on the brake wall. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a Glock 48. You don't see too many videos of the Glock 48 with the PMM, with the Johnny Glock trigger. So it's a really, really nice gun. He did really well on putting it together. So if you like what you saw today, you know, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe. Um, I'll be doing this once a week, uh, just putting out some good content. And I really appreciate you guys having me and watching my videos. Have a good day, guys.